Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into Word of Honor. We're diving into episode five. I just finished reacting to episode four. And like I said in that reaction multiple times, I love this show. It, it's just, it's charming. It makes me laugh. It makes me smile. It makes me go, ooh, girl. And it's, it's just fun. It's fun. It's fun. So we're going to dive into episode five and just see where the things of the things go in this episode. Hi, friends. Future Topher here. So for whatever reason, this episode, um... It's not just the video that's getting blocked when you upload it, because obviously I masked out the video, but the audio for the entire episode is getting like claimed and blocked. Like the past episodes, don't really know why. I'm not gonna ask questions, so I had to cut out the whole episode for this reaction. So as always, the full unedited reaction, the link will be down in the description over on Patreon for free. And this will just be my thoughts. So come back and comment. Okay, so, so many things to go through. Um, as far as that last scene goes, the hallucination, um, <clears throat> first off, whoever this man was, who I'm assuming in the hallucination was um, Zishu's daddy, maybe, was fine as fuck. Um, Face gorgeous, smile, teeth beautiful. Oh my god, yeah, I love me some good teeth. I can't have teeth and cheekbones. I just I live, um, but yeah, very beautiful. Um, <clears throat> but as far as the actual hallucination part of it goes, so both he and Kishin were affected by whatever hallucination, whether it was the incense being burned or just something in the air, whatever. Um, they're affected by the hallucination. But whatever Kishin was hallucinating, I don't know if his hallucination was tied to Zishu's hallucination or if while he, Kishin was hallucinating, he heard Zishu maybe use his full I don't know I don't know but somehow Kishin knows Zishu's true name and it's like okay how did that happen I don't know he was near hallucinating his daddy and then Zishu was also hallucinating who I'm assuming is his daddy I don't know I'm curious I'm very intrigued to find out and I'm intrigued to find out whether or not Kijing will remember that detail, like whenever he comes back, you know, into his normal state of mind. Um, because after he drank whatever Zishu gave him, which I assumed was to help, like, break him out of the spell or the hallucination, it didn't really seem to work. He still seemed to be a very childlike frame of mind. He's like, You lied to me, I'm gonna go tell my mama. And he's running off, and I'm like, Okay, so it didn't work, or maybe it just takes a little bit longer to work, but I'm wondering if whenever he breaks out of this hallucination, if he's going to remember that detail, or if he's not going to remember it, maybe he's going to pretend not to remember it, but he's going to keep it locked in the back of his mind. I don't know. I don't know. we got to wait and see, but it's interesting. It's interesting, and I'm curious. Um, but yes, yeah, so we, we met another one of the ten ghosts in this episode, um, the beauty ghost. Um, and she was beautiful. She was. I guess her power was to have, like, flawless disguise or something like that, maybe? I don't know. But we met her, which was fun. We'll see if whatever, what other information we might learn about her and the other ghosts as this series goes on. Um, but yeah, as I said at the end of the last episode, we there, or it might have been at the beginning of this reaction, like, there's no definitive good guys or bad guys in the show and everybody seems to have some sort of ulterior motives and whatnot and you can't trust anybody you can't trust anybody especially these five lakes people like every the only person who i involved in the five lakes sect or whatever alliance that i kind of trust is the 
fifth brother, the one that we met last episode and who's like the host this episode wearing the green robes, um, because he just seems genuinely sweet and he seems to really have no interest in like war or the, the, the glazed armor or anything like that. He, he just wants to live a good life and that's it. He just seems genuinely nice. So I, 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 I trust him. Everybody else, they've got all kinds of ulterior motives. The second brother, um, Shen Shen, um, is like, He's like, yep. Yeah, what 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 if I want both? What if I want the kids and the glazed armor? And like, he's clearly got whatever ulterior motives. And grandma and grandpa out here trying to, you know, so much is going on. Can't trust anybody. Can't trust them as far as you can throw them. Um, like, I don't know. 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 But we've lost um, the master of the. I was trying to remember what the name of their sect was but it, it, it's not coming to me but the older guy who was protecting the two kids we lost him and like his two disciples they they got killed in the crossfire um and strung outside the building um and they said that was the um, calling card of the happy ghost um so we've met we've talked about the hanging ghost we've met or we've seen stuff from the happy ghost we've seen the beauty ghost um whoever Wen Kijing is, whatever his official ghost title is. Um, then there's the one guy, one ghost last episode, who I forget what his title was, but we met him when he was kidnapping girls. Um, so we've, we've met a few of the ghosts. Um, yeah, but... Yeah, the old master guy, he is now dead and deceased, unfortunate. I don't know what became of the two kids, though. Do not know where their whereabouts are at this moment, and I'm certain that we will get some clarification as that in the next few episodes or somewhere in this season. Um, so I'm, I'm not rushing to ask any questions there, but eventually we'll find out what's hap where the kids are. Um, so there's five parts to the glazed armor, and each one of the sects of the five Lake Alliance were entrusted with one of the parts. And I'm assuming that it might be like a passed down generational thing. Like, okay, our sect inherits this and this family is entrusted with protecting it, blah, 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 blah. Although it's only been 20 years, so I guess it hasn't really been all down, but whatever. Each, each sect has a piece that they're gathering. So now three parts of the glazed armor are missing, it looks like. Although, I thought at the beginning of episode one, the Hanging Ghost stole a part of the glazed armor, and that's why they were looking for him. So I don't know if that part that he stole was one that had already been claimed from one of the sects in the um, Five Lake Alliance, or if there's a sixth part. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But... Um, Three parts are allegedly missing, so there's two parts that are still accounted for. One that is with Shin Chen, I believe, or in his protection, and then one more that we have yet to encounter, unless... Well, no, I was gonna say, unless that one part was the part that the ghosts had, but again, they said, I think, a piece was entrusted to each of the five lakes, so if that was gone, that would have been accounted for, so no. So there's one piece that we have yet to encounter, so there's another sect, potentially, that we have to meet. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm just talking out loud right now. Um, let me see. I'm just looking through the episode. Uh, yeah, there was one moment there in the evening before um, Zishu went on his midnight show with um, Kijing, um, that he was, you know, he was leaving the the room, and um, what the hell is the little kid's name? Chong Liang Lian, uh, I'm gonna just keep calling him Little Prince for right now. It, it, it'll come back to me. Um, but Little Prince, he, you could see that there was a point where he was looking at him sleeping, and like, he's like, okay, my 
my duty is done. I got you back here. We're all good. Our paths are going to cross. But there's some part of him that's hesitant because I think he's truly, even if he doesn't like truly care for him, although I feel like he is starting to care for him in some way, shape, or form, um, he's feeling like some level of responsibility. And even though he's like technically played his part and he's like, okay, I've done my part. I brought you here. I'm done. There's some part of him that's like, hmm. I don't think this kid is safe. Like, yes, I brought him here and I was supposed to bring him here and that was the agreement, but I don't know that this kid is safe here and I don't know if I can really leave him here and have a clear conscience. Just thought process is going on in his head there. Um, so, I don't know how much longer they're going to be at this particular place before we move to another location but I feel like once um, Zishu moves on the kid's probably going to be coming with him like I don't foresee this kid staying at this temple um, long term especially if Zishu's not going to be there um, so th those are just my thoughts that I think are potentially going to happen um, and then we had the whole eavesdropping thing on the rooftop, and then the moonlight flight through the treetops, and the guessing game of who died, who do you think that dead guy is, who do you think killed this dead guy, and sh flirtatiousness, funness, the, you know, sh typical Kijing stuff. He, 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 he out here wiling, and you know, we love him for it. Um, and then yeah, we ended up at the funeral home or the the coffin house whatever whatever title they gave it um there and traps were spring loaded and you know, ready to cut bitches heads off and spider senses were tingling all over the place and then we fell into the hallucinations where you know we already talked about that so yeah it's just it's it's a fun journey i like this place i like it here i'm kind of glad that it's such a long series because like there are so many series that I'm like, man, I, I like this series, I like here, but they're so short, and then boom, I'm done. So it's like, here, I get to enjoy this journey for a little while. Um, all right, I like it here. It, it, make, it feels like a long-standing series, like an actual series that I would watch growing up. Like, if you've been on the channel long enough, you guys know that Buffy the Vampire Slayer is one of my all-time favorite series. And it feels like one of those series that I would have watched, you know, as a kid, or over here, where it's like, okay, no, it's a full... 22 episode serialized you know thing per season and you know each season is 22 23 something episodes like that like it feels like that where it's like we're building these characters over this long duration of time versus just like okay i know the end is coming in 10 episodes so the story is going to end now but it gives us this time to flesh out the world and flesh out the characters and introduce more characters all the characters, every character under the sun they introduce in this series. Lord, there's so many fucking characters. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like this whole journey. So it's going to be fun. Um, I think I'm going to pause the journey though here today, for now at least, and get into some of my other stuff that I have to react to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.